Yeah, when we get to five, I'll give you a three. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. okay, sounds perfect. Sorry, we just have a double, so I just need to pace myself. Do you want half ice? Okay, would be great. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you a four minute. I love your dress. Thank you very much. And it's such a pleasure to see you again yeah. in, in Barcelona. It was very thrilling yesterday. We got a bit of a taste of what's coming with the girl on the spider web. So what can you tell us? What are you most excited about? <laughs> um, then I'm going to tell you what I'm most excited about. I'll give away the story. <laughs> exactly. <It's like laughs> what I'm most excited about, I yeah. can't tell you. That's a great question. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm just very excited to see the film because we we and we finished shooting like a month and a half ago, so it feels very close still. I still, it still feels so close. The character um, being on set with Fede and we had a wonderful time. I loved working on this movie. Well, it's very exciting. We can divulge that that Lisbeth Salander has a sister. So is is that something we can say? And how surprised were you when uh, you knew that? When I read the script, when I read the role of Camilla, I was like, I need to play this part right now. <laughs> uh, I read it and I, was, I felt very, very close to her. I'm the middle sister of three girls. And I think there's something about the love between sisters that is very personal and very intense. Um, and I loved that I was able to bring that, you know, to bring a little bit of that on the screen. Um, and... Um, um, she is a very special person. Uh, she is, I think, very loyal, very sensitive. She, she, they both share a, quite a past that is very intense, um, which creates a bond between them that is like no other in a way. And if you look at Camilla, there, there wouldn't be, have been any other way then for her to come back into the story and to meet Lisbeth again. Because she is searching for her sister. She's searching for closure. She's searching for that love that they had. Uh, uh, the Millennium Trilogy was read by everybody uh, in the world and the movies were so popular. What relationship did you have with them? I loved them. I was a big fan of the, of the films as well as the books. Um, I'm, all, I, I'm a fan of gritty films. I love to go into the cinema and see something that I would never experience in my life ever or hope to experience <laughs> in my life. <laughs> you I love you to see it as an audience and to get into that world. And I think that is, you know, looking at Elizabeth Salander as a character gave me so much strength and hope for women because mm. she was ahead of her time. I think this story is very timely now. Uh, I think she's been, you know, one of the feminists on screen that exactly. we've all been waiting for. And it's nice that she's back. Yeah, she has, you know, such, such amazing traits of characters mm -hmm. uh, that it makes it. Tell us a little bit about the relationship you established with Claire Foy. Obviously, this is a duo of sisters and a bit of a yin-yang from what I've seen in the It looks like uh, that in the, in the trailer, yeah. yes. Um, I loved working with Claire. I think she's very devoted to her character. Um, she will fight uh, for what she thinks is right in a mm. movie. She will, you know, protect her character to great lengths and um, search for the deeper meaning of different scenes and to really make it as make the scene work as best as possible. And I'm all about that. So really, we really found each other on set. We worked, yeah, we had fun. We worked together very well. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, as two female act actors, uh, I loved her. I, she's very respectful um, of other actors, and she, you know, she cheers them on. And, uh, and I think uh, as two women, yeah, we had a very, very good time supporting each other, which we should as women. Like, I think we should do that as women much more. You know, it's been a while since we um, had to compete. We don't have to compete as women. We should work together. Yeah, you should compete. Not compete. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, from, from the behind the scenes that I've seen, uh, everything was set in Babelsberg, a little bit in Sweden. Where mm. were you exactly? Uh, I wasn't in Sweden because that was a short amount of time mm. that they went um, mostly for locations in Sweden. But uh, a lot of um, a lot of what I shot was 
in cold Berlin, <laughs> in mm. snow, in forests. It was beautiful, crazy cold though. I remember the um, one scene with, uh, with Claire where we were both freezing our asses off. Mm. Uh, that was pretty intense. Um, and informs the character because I suppose yes. they're going through a little bit of a frosty time. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. It really creates the feeling of that film. It's a cold, cold feeling, but mm. with a lot of warmth inside the characters. And I think Fede was searching for that. Um, yeah, I shot a lot in Berlin, Studio Bausberg. There was a lot of shot in the studios, but also like on location. I think Stockholm was represented very well um, with the colors, I think. Um, Pedro, as the cinematographer, together with Fede, created a very cold look. Mm. And like I said, um, the whole atmosphere is pretty gritty and cold. And inside the characters, you can find warmth, but you have to dig inside them. And that is, as an actor, very interesting, and as an audience as well, very interesting to me. Well, in that behind the scenes, the costume designer commented on the fact that the costumes were really made very specifically for each character. Yes. So what can you elaborate about what you got to wear and the colors that kind of also informed the character for you? Yes, well, Fede and I really collaborated on the look for Camilla, in a sense, the makeup and hair. Mm. We wanted the, to the create... The eyebrows being yeah. a little bit... Uh, we wanted to, yes, it was crazy because it changes your face so much. But I think that created the character that had a certain kind of ethereal, ethereal to her, but also some angelic feeling and a sick mm. feeling at the same time. We kind of wanted to create a beautiful patient, mm -hmm. <laughs> which was fun. We were looking for that. And she was so pale that in the end with the costumes, uh, Carlos decided with Fede that it should be very red. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot of color in the film, so Camilla should bring a very strong color to the scenes. Um, because she, in a way, is the is where Lisbeth's heart starts beating. So that's where the blood comes back into the film. That's what we tried to create with the character. And so finally, how much are you looking forward to seeing the final version? And uh... I'm very excited mm -hmm. to see the final version because we, sh I think we finished shooting a month and a half ago. Yeah, so yeah. we haven't seen anything yet, but it feels very close still. And I can't wait to see the movie because I had such a fun time working on it.